As climbers, we need to build many systems, anchor systems, belay systems, repel systems, and the like. Today we're talking about how thinking through weight during system transitions can keep us safe in our vertical world. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. You will often hear mountain professionals talk about completing the new system before touching the old system. We see this show up in very common climbing scenarios, like when we take down a top rope anchor before lowering down on anchor hardware during a sport climb. Even if we have comparatively simple hardware to work with, like mussy hooks, we'd want to get the lowering system fully in place, in this case, getting our rope into both mussies, and tested, meaning feeling the belayer take our weight, before we take apart the top rope anchor we were on. Take. Another way to think about this is primary versus secondary oh, systems. If the primary system is the system that is actively taking weight, then we never take apart a primary system. We only take apart secondary systems. That might seem like, yeah, well, duh. But let's talk about why this purposeful mental model might help improve safety in all sorts of other less obvious climbing situations. Let's look at another scenario with more complexity to help demonstrate this. A multi-pitch repel transition. We are coming down on a primary system, the repel strands through our device, and a secondary system like a third-hand friction hitch. We come to a new anchor point, and we know we need to unweight and come out of our primary system so that our partner can use the rope. We build an anchor if needed, or use one already provided if we are on a sport route. We go in direct to the anchor, and come to tension, which tests that new system. So the anchor is now our primary system, and the repel and friction hitch have both become secondary. But in this case, we have another key resource, something other than a person, that we need to treat with the same level of care as we would a person, or the people will end up in a bad way. I mean the rope itself. We don't want to lose it. The primary system for the rope is the repel point above, closed by the repel device. But before we open its system, we need a new system for it to rely upon. So we secure the rope to the new anchor. Now the rope has a new system in place when the second comes down and is ready to come off repel. Because as we ready to pull the rope, the rope's primary system will be switched from the top anchor to this anchor. We can now open the rope's original system as it has a new primary in place and dismantle our repel system because our new primary is in place. Once we are ready to build the new repel system, we have a similar set of transitions. We pull the rope that is threaded through the new repel point, attach our repel device and backup, test those systems by ensuring they can take our weight, and once weighted, the new repel system becomes primary. That is our signal to dismantle the now secondary direct attachment to the anchor. The key to this simple model is recognizing what system is weighted and that weighted is always primary. The ultimate safety check of a system's integrity is putting our weight into it. We could build our repel system, visually inspect it, and accidentally get that inspection wrong. If we've already dismantled the secondary system, well, that mistake could prove to be our last. But if we actively weight the system, we are less likely to rely on a system that is flawed. If that new system fails, the first system is still in place to catch us. Note, it is still possible to make a mistake. You can take a look at a short we did on one way the Connecticut tree hitch can fail to see an example of an open system temporarily holding our weight until it doesn't. There's a link in the description. But by adding this weighting to both our visual and tactile inspections, we have greatly reduced our odds of catastrophic failure. And we see this all over the place in climbing. Any load transfer, like a crevasse rescue where you go from the teammate holding a crevasse fall to the anchor holding the fall, is an example. Heck, handing off gear is an example. I hold out the gear as primary. My teammate actively pulls the gear from my hand, meaning his hand is now supporting the gear's weight, making his hand the new primary system before I let go. So this mental check of experiencing weight transfer for a system check is one way we try to improve our safety in the mountains. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can watch a full tutorial on a multi-pitch repel transition on ice, or maybe check out our entire rock climbing safety series. We'll see you next week, and keep on getting more out of that big outside.